So I want to show you guys how I edit a picture with Adobe Lightroom and I'm going to show you how I edited this one right here. This is the raw file right here and this is the final edited image and I kind of want to take you through my workflow and how I go about editing pictures. So uh, the first thing I like to do is I like to crop the image to 16 by 10. It's my favorite aspect ratio. Uh, it's not too wide but it's not too square. And then I also like to straighten the image. I like to get it close with the grid lines. And then I kind of just like to eyeball it. Um, you can see right here that this kind of like dips down a little bit. And it kind of uh, it messes with your eyes. So I kind of like to just get it close and then eyeball it. There looks pretty good. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this. I, I have a spot on my image sensor, an oil spot, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that with the retouching tool. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to play with the tone curve right here and I want to bring up a lot of the uh, mid-tones and the dark blacks so it kind of gives it that faded look. And then I like to adjust the clarity to probably about, I don't know, maybe plus 50. Then I'm going to go ahead and sharpen the image to about, I don't know, 100. And then I'll check the masking and make sure that I have only the things that I want sharpened, sharpened. And now I'm going to go ahead and pop the contrast a little bit. And I'm also going to bring the vibrancy out just a little bit. Now one thing I don't like is this yellow hue right here on the concrete. So I am going to go to the brushes and the saturation and I am going to just paint out some of that yellow hue. Now some people like it, I do not. Uh, I never like yellow hues so anytime I have concrete or uh, you know articles of clothing that are white I always try and paint out the yellow hue. If there is stuff like right here that is in color, like graffiti or anything like that, I try and leave as much of that in as I can. So that looks pretty good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and darken the sky a little bit and try and bring these birds out. So what I want to do is I want to take the exposure and I want to drop it down to maybe like minus 20 and then I want to pop the clarity just a little bit too. I want to see if I can bring this sky out a little bit more. Bring the highlights down a little. Kind of give it a little more dramatic effect. See now you can see the birds are really coming alive. And the next thing I want to do is I want to paint in even more clarity on the dock. Right here. Because there's a lot of detail in this concrete and I, I personally don't like losing it. I'm going to pop the contrast a little bit too. And jack up the sharpness. Now you can see right here, this person, You can I don't know if you can tell but there's like a, a shadow around them. That's from the clarity that I just painted in so I'm going to go ahead and try and erase that. So that you can't see that. That might be some of the exposure that I did from the, yeah, from the last thing. You can always tell a lot of people that don't know how to use the paintbrush right. Because you'll see that kind of uh, darkening around things that they didn't paint correctly with the paintbrush. Alright, now the next thing I want to do is I want to brighten up this center part a little bit. So I'm going to go to Lighten. I'm just going to kind of paint in and then raise the shadows just a tiny little bit. I might bring the highlights down just a little bit. I don't want to lose any detail or blow out any of the whites. That looks good. Now I'm going to put a vignette on it. Uh, and I'm going to change the midpoint so that it's not so far in and I'm going to change the roundness and I'm feather it a little bit more all right and I'm going to try and bring the whole picture the exposure down just a little bit 
just like that. I can still see a little bit of darkness around this guy, so I am going to try and lighten him up a little bit and get rid of that. Uh, I'll probably bring the saturation out just a little bit more too. I'm gonna get rid of the yellow and the orange and the red. I don't know. I do want to bring that yellow back. Yeah, because I had the yellow right there. It looks like my vignette was a little bit stronger. Alright, and that's the final image. Uh, it's pretty close to my original one. It looks like the... I actually like my line right here a little bit better. Alright, and there it is.